everybody. Today I'm here with Max Brooks playing Minecraft, and Max is an expert at Minecraft. Now, fair warning, I'm an expert on PC. This is brand new for me. Uh, but there's a lesson in that too, which is in life you're going to be confronted with new tools and new ways of having to use them, and don't get frustrated, and don't beat yourself up, and don't throw it against the wall. It's just part of growing and part of life. So going to watch me doing something I know how to do well, but as an absolute beginner. See, so what I'm doing right now is because it's nighttime, I'm heading for some snowy mountains in the distance uh, because at night, the snow helps my night vision when I don't have any coal. And oh, oh, look at that. There's a village. There's a village. And that is one of the great lessons of human evolution because how did we survive in primitive environments that wanted to kill us? we found other people. So here we go, we're running to a door. Now I gotta figure out how to open the door on this. Okay, door is closed. Oh my God, Charlotte, we are safe for the night. And we look around. Oh look, there's a chest. Let's see what the villagers have left. Oh, so generous. But also the emerald, very, very important. The emerald is currency. And that's one of the genius things about this game is whether you realize it or not, this game can teach you about economics. Because think about it, money is transformable. Money can turn itself into anything no matter how much you have. So you could have all this bread and you could trade the bread for the iron or if you just have the emeralds, you can buy the bread or the iron or anything else and then you sell what they want and you get more emeralds. I mean, it literally teaches you home economics to macroeconomics right here. Now look, here I am, it's daytime. Oh, there's still a wither skeleton out there. Yeah, I didn't realize what a wide like cast of creatures Minecraft They're has. so many, just like life. Oh look, and there's bunny rabbits and one of them seems to have died and there's a bunny rabbit carcass. That's going to be our task. Let's cook the rabbit carcass. So step number one, Let's go find ourselves some more wood to make some more tools to make ourselves a furnace, not a blast furnace, because that's just metal, a regular old GE convex furnace. And how did you become such an expert in like so many survival aspects? This game taught me how to do it through trial and error, which is how life is supposed to be, because I'm sure in your life, you've met people who are just naturally good at stuff, right? And good for them. Now, I had the advantage growing up to not be good at almost anything when I was a kid. So I had to really work hard and I had to fail. And that's not a bad word because failure taught me a lot of things. And I got better through practicing. Oh, it's getting dark again. Here we go. Oh, got to be careful. And that's, that's another thing I love about this game is it doesn't care about your feelings, just like the real world. If you make a mistake, you're going to break your ankle. And even though you can hyper heal in this game, if your stomach is empty, you're not going to heal as fast. Good, hard and fast rules. Oh, and someone is chasing us. I can hear the arrow whistling behind us. My first book, Minecraft the Island, has someone who just spawns in this world, doesn't know about this world, doesn't know anything, spawns in the ocean, swims to an island, and has to learn how to survive. And learns life skills, like patience and planning, and how to recover from failure, which is very, very, very important. And turns the island into a comfort zone. And by the end, our character realizes that the last lesson is that growth doesn't come from a comfort zone, but from leaving it. So makes a boat, sails away. And that's the end of Minecraft the Island. Book two, our character gets to a continent, kind of like this one, lost snow and ice and it's cold, and runs into another castaway and learns about friendship. You know, how to communicate and how to compromise, how to live and let live. Book three, they get to a village and they learn how to be citizens, 
how to live into a community. How do you fit in? How do you obey the rules and yet realize maybe you don't like the rules. Maybe you want to leave and you choose. And that's called democracy where you get to vote. That's important. So those are our three books. Minecraft the Island, How to Live with Yourself. Minecraft the Mountain, How to Live with Someone Else. Minecraft the Village, How to Live in a Community. Oh, the sun's coming out. So here we go. Hey buddy, sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. All right, all right, back to the trees. Let's get some wood, let's make ourselves a crafting table, let's mine some stone, and let's cook that carcass. You've got big ambitions. Got to have big ambitions in life. You got to believe you can do something, even if it doesn't look like you can. Another lesson of Minecraft. Keep trying. Never give up. This one, we're going to do right out here. And here we go. And here is our stone. How many of the recipes do you have memorized at this point? I've got quite a few, and I'm not ashamed of it at all. And there we go. Rabbit goes up top. Wood at the bottom. Bing, bang, boom. We're cooking a rabbit. Can't believe we did it. We did it. We did it, trial and error, patience, Problems force progress, never give up. There we go. But that's okay, because I'm getting out of here. And I hear the zombie behind me, and I'm going to eat this rabbit before the zombie eats me. They don't actually just eat you, they just pummel you to death. So it's much nicer. Is your entire career just going to span one, like, zombie-related thing to another? You know, they keep showing up. I... I I don't want them to, I don't like them, but as long as they're out there, I'm gonna keep finding ways to fight them. Bam, we did it. We did it. I think our adventure is, is done. Ate a rabbit out in the sea, pond? Wait, you know, sometimes you just gotta eat a cooked rabbit in the middle of a frozen pond surrounded by monsters that come out after dark. That to me is a win.